Let's solve problem 7.26 from Mac Electronic Circuits 8th edition by Cedron Smith. So I've got an NMOS amplifier here. It is designed to provide 0.2 volt peak output signal. And we're going to assume that VD equals 1.8 volts, RD equals 10 kilo ohms. The gain is to be negative 10 volt to volt. So the first question is what GM is required? Okay. There's a lot of questions here. So what is the GM? We can use the following equation. Gain is equal to negative GM, which is the transconductance, by the way, multiplied by RD. So therefore, GM is equal to negative AV divided by RD. So that is negative negative, negative 10 <laughs> volt to volt divided by the resistance of 10 kilo ohms. And so those negative signs will cancel out and we get one milliamp per volt. Okay, next question. Bias the amplifier as close to the edge of the saturation region as possible, consistent with the required signal swing. So the signal swing says we have a maximum gain of 0 0.2 volt peak signal. So therefore, the voltage from drain to source needs to be equal to V overdrive plus this maximum output signal swing, which is 0 0.2 volts. So that means the minimum signal at the drain is going to be equal to the overdrive voltage. Because we can express the gain magnitude as VDD minus VDS divided by 0 0.5 V overdrive. So therefore, this gets us 10 equal to 1.8 minus VDS divided by uh, 0 0.5 times V overdrive. Okay, so we just got to uh, solve for V overdrive, right? Um, we're going to make a system of equations. So this is equation one. And let's simplify this. So we're going to multiply 0 0.5 V overdrive to the left side. So that's 5 V overdrive equal to 1.8 minus VDS. And let's isolate VDS, so that would be VDS equals 1.8 minus 5V overdrive. Okay, so this will be equation 2. So we can solve for V overdrive now. V overdrive plus 0 0.2 equals 1.8 minus 5V overdrive. So we get uh, 6V overdrive is equal to 1.6. So therefore, V overdrive is 1.6 divided by 6 is equal to 0 0.27 volts and thus we can now figure out VDS is equal to 0 0.27 volts plus 0 0.2 volts which is equal to 0 0.47 volts so basically what I did is we needed to buy a amplifier to get as close to saturation so I knew I had to find my V overdrive because it relates to VDS and I had to add the 0 0.2 volts because that is the output signal that we were trying to get. So then I just used a gain equation to solve for V overdrive. OK, let me clean up this a little bit and we will solve the rest of the question. OK, so let's finish up this question. So to specify the values of V overdrive and ID, I already solved for V overdrive. The 0 0.27 volts. Now we can solve for ID if we look at this wire. It's going to be VDD minus uh, VDS divided by RD. So that's going to be 1.8 minus 0 0.47 divided by 10 kilo ohms. So I calculate ID to be 0.133 milliamps. Okay. If K in prime equals 380 micrograms per volt squared, what W divided by L ratio is required? Width divided by length. So we can use the saturation equation for our drain current because you know that this transistor is in the saturation region. It's at the edge of saturation. 
Okay, so that's going to be one half k n prime times w divided by l times zero root r squared. Now we just need to solve for w divided by l, so we're going to get w divided by l is equal to two id divided by k n prime times v over drive squared, which is equal to two times zero point one three three milliamps divided by uh, three hundred and eighty microamps, that would be 10 to the negative 3 milliamps volt squared, times V over J squared, which is 0 0.27 volt squared. Okay, so I get W divided by L, that ratio is equal to 9.6. And it looks like we've got one question left. If VT equals 0 0.4 volts, find VGS. VGS is simply equal to Vt plus V overdrive, so that's 0 0.4 volts plus 0 0.27 volts, so I get that VGS is equal to 0 0.67 volts. And that solves the rest of the question. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, comments, or video suggestions, feel free to reach me in the comment section or by my email. Thank you and have a great day.